Day 850 The Resilience of Ukraine Welcome back to Ukraine Wireless, your daily operations details of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe and stay informed on the latest developments in this grueling war. Today we have some gripping updates that will keep you on the edge of your seat. In the early hours of today, a flurry of alert messages buzzed through the devices of Ukrainian forces, warnings from a secret agency that spelled imminent danger. Just as the warning reached them, the Russian army launched a fierce attack. The timing was uncanny, almost as if the two events were choreographed. But the Ukrainian army, always vigilant, responded with a counterattack so swift and precise that it took the Russian forces by complete surprise. This clash, one of many in the ongoing conflict, highlighted the resilience and preparedness of Ukraine's defenders. In a daring maneuver, the Ukrainian aviation, missile troops and artillery struck back. They targeted 17 personnel concentration areas, a Russian control point, two POs, four ammunition warehouses, a rep station, and one RLS. It was a meticulously coordinated retaliation that left the Russian forces reeling. The Russian assault was relentless. Five missiles, 20 rockets, and 35 aviation strikes with 68 caps rained down upon Ukrainian territory. In a show of brute force, the Russians launched 544 kamikaze drones and fired over 3,200 rounds of shelling using barrel and jet artillery, mortars, firearms, and armaments of fighting vehicles. The sheer volume of their attack was staggering, aiming to overwhelm the Ukrainian defenses. In Kharkiv, the Russian army, supported by aviation, launched attacks near Vovchansk, but the Ukrainian forces were prepared. They successfully repelled two major attacks, with another fierce confrontation still ongoing. Preliminary reports indicate significant Russian losses. 64 soldiers were killed and wounded, and two artillery systems and six vehicles were destroyed. Ukrainian forces also hit 35 personnel shelters and one ammunition storage site, disrupting the enemy's operations. The Kupiansk direction saw the Russian army making 15 attempts to dislodge Ukrainian units from their positions around settlements like Stelmakivka, Sinkivka, Stepova Novosilivka, Pishchana, Andriivka, and Mayasozhorivka. The Ukrainian forces successfully repelled 12 of these attacks. Near Stelmakivka, the situation remains tense with three ongoing combat clashes, underscoring the intensity of the struggle. In the Lyman direction, Russian forces tried to advance eight times in areas around Nevsky, Terny, and Novosadov. Ukrainian defenders repelled all these attacks, demonstrating their steadfast resolve. The soldiers held their ground, turning the enemy back each time and maintaining control over their positions. The Siversk direction saw significant action with the Russians carrying out 10 assault actions in areas around Verkhnyokamensky, Rozdolivka, Sperna, and Vyginka. Ukrainian forces repelled nine of these attacks, with one battle still ongoing. The situation remains under control, a testament to the unyielding resolve of the Ukrainian defenders. The Kramatorsk direction is a cauldron of conflict. Four Russian attempts to approach Ukrainian positions near Hyrovka, Zvanivka, and Ivanivsky were thwarted. The battle near Klishchivka continues, adding to the already high tension in the Toretsk area. Since the beginning of the day, the Russian army has increased its efforts to infiltrate Ukrainian defenses, launching 15 attempts. Supported by aviation, they attacked near Toretsk, Severn, and New York. Ukrainian forces repelled 11 of these assaults, with four confrontations still ongoing. Ukrainian soldiers are exerting maximum effort to curb Russian activity and exhaust their resources. The intensity of combat in the Pokrovsky direction is staggering. With 44 confrontations recorded, it remains one of the most active battlefronts. Using every available means of firepower aviation, artillery, armaments of fighting vehicles, strike drones, FPV drones, and firearms, the Russian forces continue to exert pressure. The clashes near settlements like Oleksandrivka, Novoleksandrivka, Vozdivizhenka, Yevanivka, Sokol, Novosilivka I, Novopokrovsky, and Karlivka are fierce and unrelenting. Ukrainian warriors have repelled 32 Russian attacks, with 12 combat clashes still raging. As we continue to follow the developments of this conflict, let us remember the sacrifices made and the valor displayed by those on the front lines. Stay tuned for more updates from Ukraine Wireless, your window into the heart of this historic struggle.